Hello and welcome to Someca Sales Forecasting Template. According to your knowledge as a demand planner, we have built this template to help you to calculate and release your sales forecast on a monthly basis in the same way ERP system works. Let's take a quick look into the template. Basically, the sales forecasting template consists of three main parts. First one, sales history, means your corrected sales history. Second one, set forecast also known as winter's exponential smoothing by using level, seasonality and trend. And the last one, final forecast, means also known last estimate forecast. So let's see the details. Sales history. First of all, to calculate your sales forecast, you need to add your corrected sales history in this table. You can do it in two different ways. First one is write your code and category and product description and your sales history. The second one is a data import from another file. For doing this, press unlock data button. And now sales history data fields are available to be changed. It means now the rows unblocked and copy and paste. So I'm going to copy my sales data from another file that I've been working on before. I'm taking my values and passed as a value to the table. You can create a new product by filling this blanks. The template is going to give an automatic code, which is known as SKU number for each product. For example, I have a new product which name is Raisin Pie. I'm writing category food and product description. So as you can see, date and code sections filled automatically. But we need to at minimum and maximum expected sales to calculate less estimated forecast. So if I click the save, the tool alert us like this error message. Minimum expected sales must be greater than zero. So I'm adding minimum and maximum expected sales. A new product has been created successfully. So finally we added our new product including minimum and maximum expected sales and these numbers for our new product are appearing automatically to calculate the last estimated forecast for this new product. Okay now let's take a quick look at the set forecast sheet. First of all, let's select our new product from this drop down. Raisin pie. Set forecast section is about uh, winter's exponential smoothing, which means actually estimation based on statistical constants, level, trend, and seasonality. When you add your own products in the say sister data section, this smoothing constants will take 0.3 as default value automatically. You'll be able to change these values when you execute sales forecast on each new product. From this drop downs. And you can also change quarter adjustments from these little drop downs. Furthermore, you may know special behavior or promotional market share. In this case, you are able to force your calculated forecast adjusting on the quarterly basis your final sales forecast at the right side on error indicators and adjustments. Finally, do not forget to save your sales forecast pressing the Save Adjustments button. So, the last sheet last estimated forecast. In this section you'll see your sales forecast values after saving your execute forecast. Your new forecast is now 48 months sales forecast in the planning horizon 
and you are able to change it anytime you want. Just get back to uh, navigation menu and press the set forecast. And finally, do not forget to update your real sales according to section sales history data. Updating your real sales history will be your basis to run next sales forecast with your new sales forecasting tool. That's all. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check our other templates at Someka website. Thank you.